yet another day of South By craziness. Hello, are you talking to me? And I head out of the center of town for a little relief, something reliably happy making. The parking lot outside of a laundromat. Should have brought my clothes. A parking lot, a food truck, a little place called Taco Rico. No madness, no hipsters. We're kind of out of town, and yet this is generally acknowledged as the finest purveyor of tacos in the Austin area. Hello. Hello. Hi. Wow, could I have huilota? Enchiladas con huilota? Yes, and also uh, barbacoa. Mm. Wow, it's delicious. It's like the head and the tail. It's got all of that good stuff in there. Fatty, sticky, it's just awesome. Round two. Enchiladas con huilota. Nice, thank you. Wow, look at that. They do guelota here, sometimes translated as quail, but actually morning dove. Either way, you get the point. Delicious little bird, deep fried till crispy, and served with traditional garnishes over a tortilla. Oh, Lord, that's good. Mmm, why can I have this on my corner? I recommend that you come here, go to the laundromat, sit in the parking lot, get the little bird, lots of it. So, what next? Thanks for coming out, everybody. Nice to get to play one last show at Emo. You've got to love hometown Austin band, The Sword, keepers of the true rock and roll faith. Songs about interplanetary legends and totally irony-free embrace of what could only be called rock. guys have love and respect for a lot of the music that I grew up listening to, for sure. I'm wondering what you grew up listening to that made a huge impact on you. Van Halen, Ozzy. Red Zeppelin. Red Zeppelin. Genesis. <laughs> Hall and Oates. Hall and Oates. I, mean, I've I didn't hear any Hall and Oates in uh, anything, but. I remember seeing like Green Day videos when I was like 12, 13, being like, I can do that. <laughs> that was like the blessing and the curse of Nirvana. Yeah. Of like, you know, you look at Kurt Cobain and you're like, well, I can do that. Anyone can play guitar like that. Right. But can you write songs like that? You know, that's the question. How come we're here, this place? Is this your? This is my favorite neighborhood spot for years and years. It's like my cheers. We do some beering up at the Draft House, where they got like 50 different brews of varying wonderfulness, sure to please even the most demanding and annoying of beer walks. There's a huge patio outside. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people oh, tailgate boy. outside and just kind of hang out in the parking lot. Oh, alone. you can drink outside As long here. as you stay within the fence. Good crowd of locals, the perfect spot for a band in need. Who did you tour with? Metallica? You tour with Metallica, yeah? yeah. Long time. Yeah. That yeah. was fun, that was a really good one. Yeah, that was good. It took us everywhere. Internationally, where do you, where's the best? Audiences for the music you play, do you think? Australia? Australia? Australia, Australia was pretty tight. Japan and yeah. France. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I like Japan a lot because they don't perceive heavy metal the same way that other that, like Western audiences do. Then you look at the front row of a, of a Metallica concert in Tokyo, it's not a bunch of like fists in the air and scowls and like battle cries and devil faces. It's like all just smiles and like, you know, big grins. Yeah. And like that, that's really cool to see. Then your, your food of choice generally, I mean, Band fuel? Tacos. 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 Yeah. yeah. Fish tacos, to be precise. At Sword Favorite, quality seafood market. I used to drive by this place when I was a little boy and mm -hmm. smell the fish. Right. Like, I always thought this place stank so much. I would buy <laughs> it. Like, and now? And now I come here all the time. Good Gulf oysters on the half shell. Oh, yeah. Those good-looking oysters. The sure hand with all manners of friolated arts. Fried catfish. A two-dollar big-ass fish taco. And I'll be slathering it with this sauce. This is your sauce. Yes, sword right. sauce. The sword. And of course, like any self-respecting metal band, they have their own hot sauce. Getting close on this. Tears of fire. 
so hot that it's banned from most galaxies. And <laughs> most galaxies. Most, most galaxies. Most of them. It's been like this legendary item for a long time. We couldn't sell it for a while because of the FDA. FDA. But we got it approved now, so yep. now right. it's approved. Now it's approved. Yes. Cheers. Okay. Cool. You're not kidding, man. Light to a fire. The extra twang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tears of fire tonight, burning yeah. ring of fire tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> you had your sauce limit, man. That's some crack pie. That's the uh, crack tra pie. traditional Texas dessert. That's actually crack on, on top of it. <laughs> crack pie? Yes. I like anything with crack in it. Get it. Ooh. It's like a pecan pie almost. Yeah, that's a good pie. All right, gentlemen, to that. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alejandro Escovedo is a legend, a true legend. He's recorded with like everybody since forever. To say that you've changed genres over time would be a huge understatement. <laughs> Folk rock, country, punk, everything. His first real regular gig was with the West Coast punk band, The Nuns. The punk rock thing was to buy a van and then play wherever there was electricity. So I did that for many, many years. 300, 350 shows a year. 350 so shows a year. The marching up the streets, people hiding in their cover. But he's also played with Rank and File, True Believers, The Sensitive Boys. But Sally was a cop, but now she's a soldier. All the way to sharing the stage with Bruce Springsteen. This is El Azteca an East Austin classic for more than a quarter century, serving genuine Tejano cuisine. You have a cabrito? I'm gonna have chicken mole enchiladas. The decorations are interesting, to say the least, and yet perfectly placed next to boiling pots of spiced beef that could easily pass for volcanic craters, ready to accept virgin sacrifices, no doubt. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is good mole. Chicken wrapped in corn tortillas and drowned in dark brown mole sauce. Served, of course, with rice and beans. How's your food, man? Oh, it's awesome. Cabrito, the meat from young, milk-fed goats, fried up and served with rice and salsa fresca. You come from a, a, a family of musicians, is that right? My first introduction to bands really was through my father, because he was a mariachi. And then my brothers had bands, but it was all kind of jazzy stuff that I really wasn't into. We fell in love with the Yardbirds, Captain Beefheart, and the Stooges. You know, the first Stooges album, well, actually it was Funhouse that sort of defined, you know, you couldn't be friends with your old friends anymore if you walked around with Funhouse exactly. anymore. It was, you were, a, you, were a, you were an outcast. Yeah, I lost a lot of friendships over albums. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really? <laughs> So you can make a decent living here making good music. Yeah, that's why there's so many musicians here. They, they called it the Velvet Rut for a while this time. The Velvet Rut. The Velvet Rut. Yeah, because <laughs> no one wanted to leave. Why go on tour? We got Barton Springs in the summer. The girls are beautiful. The food's great. The beer's cold. So there was this aspect about Austin that they felt everyone was kind of lazy. Mm -hmm. People just like being here and hanging out. <laughs>